What's up guys, uh, I decided to make this video to answer a question that I often see on PS3 modding forums. What is the best custom firmware to use on your PS3? Well, to answer that, let me first talk about the options. There are a whole bunch of uh, firmwares out there, but the most popular right now are Rebug, Habib, Ferox, and Rogero. They all do pretty much the same thing, but some of them have advantages advantages over the others. Let me explain why. First off, even though the Regera firmware is still super popular and a lot of people use it, it's no longer being updated by Rogero, so you can scratch that one off your list right away. Ferox um, is a newcomer that's very good, but it does not support Cobra. Uh, Cobra is an optical drive emulation uh, add-on which lets you like uh, play PlayStation 2, PlayStation 1 games really easily and uh, uh, even though Ferox also does this using uh, a package file it doesn't quite have all the same features so um, I would say uh, Habib and Rebug are better because of it so both of those are like excellent choices in my opinion uh, Habib and, and Reebok, they're both really good and either one could be the best at any, at any point, but um, I tend to lean a little bit towards Reebok. Uh, the developer of Habib firmware is actually a member of the Reebok team, so they're, the two firmwares are very similar. It, comes, it really comes down to this, if you want stability and less updates, uh, I would go with the Reebok firmware. And if you want cutting edge features, then uh, Habib firmware is probably the best. Um, overall, for most people, I think Rebug uh, will do everything uh, that you want it to do. So that's my recommendation. The best firmware, in my opinion, is probably Rebug. So I have the links for both Rebug and Habib in the description if you want to download them. And I'm going to do a short tutorial on how to install uh, the Rebug onto your PlayStation 3. So if you're interested in that, just keep watching the video. To update to custom firmware 4.76 Rebug, first you'll need to download the Rebug firmware itself and the Rebug toolbox from the video description. Once you have that, you will need a blank USB stick which you'll want to insert into your computer. When that is done, go ahead and um, open up your USB drive, create a new folder called PS3, then inside that folder make another folder called update, go inside that folder now this is the folder you're going to move the actual Rebug firmware to. Before you do that, take the Rebug firmware file and rename it to PS3 up that dot pop like so. And then drag it over to your USB drive. When the transfer is complete, go back to the root directory of your USB drive and take the Reebok toolbox package file and just drag it over, the, over there. Okay, you're good to go. Now go over to your console and plug in your USB drive. Once you have the Reebok files on your USB drive, uh, you could go ahead and take it put it into your PlayStation 3. Mine is disassembled at this moment, but it's still completely functional. Once the USB drive is in, just power up. Head over to settings, system update, update via storage media. Okay. Now you're going to see the Rebug user agreement. Go ahead and accept that if you want and 
check turn off automatically and just start. Okay, now that the update is finished, it's time to see if it worked. Uh, so far it looks good. Just saw the Rebug logo. Means we are on the Rebug custom firmware. Let's go check it out. Four point seven six. Good shit. Okay, now we're gonna wanna install the rebug toolbox. There it is. All right. So now the rebug toolbox is installed, we could like enable Cobra mode, which lets us play. Um, ISOs of PS2 and PS1 games and or PSP and all kinds of other stuff. Uh, also ISOs of Blu-rays, etc. So it's pretty good. If your uh, PS3 is backwards compatible and you could read PS3 discs, then you could like change your uh, PS2 emulation. The main reason I opened this up is so I could toggle the QA flag. Every time you change your firmware, it's a good idea to Google toggle your QA flag to enable to make uh, future firmware updates easier and safer. So let's enable that. Okay, now that it's enabled, pretty much all done. Enjoy your Reebok custom firmware. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember, if you found this video helpful, please give it a like. And if you want more console modding tutorials, don't forget to subscribe.